Hello everyone. In this video, we'll understand how do we form a payoff matrix for player A, if at all, if a word problem is given. From the word problem, how do we formulate it? So the question is, players A and B play a game in which each player has three coins. 25 paise coin, 50 paise coin, and 100 paise coin. 100 paise is nothing but one rupee coin. Each of them selects a coin without the knowledge of the other person. If the sum of the values of the coins is an even number, A wins B's coin. If that sum is an odd number, B wins A's coin. Develop a payoff matrix with respect to player A. So here we may notice each player has got these three coins. That means both of them are having same three strategies. So these are considered to be the strategies. Both of them has got the same strategies, same count also, same type of the strategy also, because every both of them are having 25 paise, 50 paise and 100 paise coin. So how do we formulate it? This will consider uh, the strategies as 25 paise, uh, 50 paise and 100 paise. 50 paise, 100 paise. Here again, 25 paise, 50 paise, 100 paise. This is player A, this is player B. <clears throat> now the question says, if the sum of the values of the coin is an even number. Now, if A adopts his strategy as 25 paise, if he shows, if he selects 25 paise coin and show it, same time, B also show the same coin, 25 paise. Sum of this is 50. 50 is an odd number. That means A wins B's coin. B's coin is 25 paise. So A is yearning. So I will say it is 25. He will be yearning 25 paise. Now, if you add these two, for example, A is showing 25 paise coin, B is showing 50 paise coin. If I add 25 and 50, I get 75. 75 is an odd number, which means B wins A's coin. That means this 25 paise coin of A, B will get it back. Means A is going to lose this 25 paise. Remember, here we are going to write about the gains and losses of player A. That means here it is a loss to A. I will write it as minus 25. Now, the next one, 100 and 25. If I add these two, it is 125. 125 is an odd number. Again, player B will receive A's coin. So this becomes minus 25. Again, coming here, 50 and 25, if I add, it is 75. 75 is an odd number, which means B will receive A's coin. A is going to lose 50 paise. Here, 50 and 50, it is 100. 100 is an even number, which means A will receive B's coin. So 50 paise will be received by A from B. 150, sorry, 150, it is 150. 150 is an even number. Even number means A will receive B's coin. So 100 paise of B will be obtained by A, means he will get it. This will become 100. Here, 100 plus 25, it is 125. 125 is an odd number. Odd number means B receives or B wins A's coin. A's coin is 100 and B is going to win that. That means A is going to lose 100 paise. Here, 100 plus 50, it is 150. 150 is an even number. Even number means A will win B's coin. B's coin is 50, that A will get it. 50 paise, he will obtain. The last one, 100 and 100, it is 200. 200 is an even number. Even number means A wins B's coin. So 100 paise, A will get it. So this is the payoff matrix um, with respect to player A. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.